I've pulled the door out of the frame here, and I'm trying to get access to the rollers which slid down. So I'm taking down some of these pallet boards, and I'm going to drill some holes in the backing and see if I can find them. So I suppose I'm making my build slightly lighter. <laughs> I'm just drilling holes, but I finally I found the pieces. They're in here. I can feel them. So I'm going to make this bit here, uh, cut this out so that I can get access and actually pull them out. Yeah, it's right there. So I, I, I widened this hole, got the sliders out, and then I've put them back in via this hole here. I've also put in this screw, which should stop the sliders ever going back that way. Here, uh, you can see one of those sliders. Well, you probably can't actually see it, but it's in there. So now I gotta slide them down to the other end somehow and get the door back on. I can't believe I did that. It's working. I've also tightened up these nuts here so that hopefully it doesn't come off like that again. And obviously they can't roll off into the wall anymore. There we go. The wall is fixed. I did break this though. Uh, it is split now because I was foolish when I was uh, screwing it back in. But other than that, this whole area is now fully functional again. I can't tell you how happy I am to have this door back. It was such a pain not being able to go between the, the cab and the living space really simply, especially because, um, you know, one of the places I was parked, I was just right on the side of the road and I wanted to have my privacy. So every time I came back and forth, I had to like struggle with the door. So it made it so I didn't want to go into the cab or anything like that, uh, just to grab something that I left up there or whatever. So this is so so much better now that, that that now that the door is functional again bit of bad news here folks it's a very good thing that i got that door repaired <laughs> when i did because i just sat down to make myself some dinner i was going to make myself some uh taco salad and uh, <laughs> i was cutting up the avocado the knife slipped on the pit and I had to go to the hospital and get three stitches put in the joint of my thumb. So it's all set up now. I didn't hit any tendons or anything like that. Uh, so as far as going stitches, getting stitches goes, you know, it's fairly minor. <laughs> but I won't be making any progress on the van for uh, probably, these come out in a week. Um, I'm, I don't know when I'll regain mobility, but I really don't want to push my stitches. So, yeah, oh man, I would not have been able to move that door, get that door open with one hand. So I'm so happy that I fixed that. Um, I've just parked in front of my dad's place. I was visiting him when, the, when I did this, which is really lucky. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm healed. Um, <laughs> I was really trying to avoid sleeping in front of the house. Um, I got two nights without doing that and then... <laughs> Uh, this had to go and change my plans. So yeah, that, that's a thing that happened. Uh, I'm all right. Uh, I think it's kind of funny and ironic that I spent all this time working on the van and I didn't hurt myself once, um, no matter what people thought I would do. Uh, and then I cook, cut myself making dinner. So just a dumb mistake on my part um, that's gonna set me back a little bit. Uh, I wanted to go kayaking tomorrow. That's not gonna happen. Uh, I tried to play cards and realized that I couldn't shuffle. So hey, uh, I just gotta I gotta roll with it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So that's the update for for this uh, portion of the video. I got my repairs on the door done. So that's absolutely great. Um, but you know, might be a little slow on progress and content coming up. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully healed a little bit. Cheers.